This is a video to show how to graph Boyle's Law data and Charles Law data, data using Google Sheets. So we have our, we have our data uh, entered here. Um, so we're just going to highlight all of our data points we want to graph. So highlight that, click Insert, and then we're going to go scroll down and, and click Chart. And we want these, so these ones are like default recommended, like the most common ones. So we don't want any of those. We're going to use a uh, scatter plot and we want the one that this one here. And uh, so here's our data. Um, if you notice the Y axis only goes to 10. So we want this to go all the way to zero because we don't want this point um, to look like it's intersecting the, uh, the X axis here. So we can fix that by clicking over here and customize. So we go customize. Uh, scroll down and we want to adjust so uh, right here this option says uh, the horizontal axis so we want to adjust the vertical axis and we want the minimum to be zero so I'm going to click in here and type zero um, and you see that it just made it go down to zero here um, now we want to add a trend line and we're going to add a uh, exponential trend line um, and the directions say to forecast this um, out to where if you pretended you added 20 books. So we need to adjust the axis to, because Google by default, it'll keep making this line continue on and on for however long uh, we define the size of our chart to be. So we want our, uh, we want our X axis to extend out to as if you added 27 books total. So we're going to go again back to uh, axis here. Um, and this time we're going to adjust the horizontal axis. And for maximum, we're going to put, let's say, like 30 here. Um, and then as you can see, um, our graph here approaches 0, but it should never actually hit 0. Um, and then right here, it's, it's actually linear. So it's following Boyle's law exactly right here where it's linear. Um, you can give your graph some, um, to title the axes. So here's our, oh, those are labels. Okay. So we can, we can give the chart a title. So we'll give it an appropriate title. So Boyle's law PV relationship. Um, and then we'll click insert. So what I did was uh, I just right clicked in this area and then it comes up with axis and then go right here to axis title. Um, and so I'm going to call this, these are uh, volume and they were measured in milliliters. So I'm going to type that. Um, oh, this is, I just messed up. So this is our, uh, so I need to edit this. These are uh, units of pressure. And this was measured in number of books. OK, and uh, now we want to edit the vertical axis title. And these are, um, this is uh, volume. And this was measured in milliliters. Okay, and there we go. There's our graph. Um, okay, so let's bring that over there, and then let's do our uh, Charles Law graph. So highlight, same thing, insert, chart, and the same thing. So we want to click more, scatter, choose this one. Um, and then we want to customize this so that our... Um, so that we show a trend line and then that we show this trend line intersecting the x-axis. So chart title, we could call this Charles Law VT Relationship. And uh, the horizontal axis is um, not quite far enough. So we're going to want this to go to a minimum. So we want to extend it out here more. So we're going to put a minimum of negative 200 here. Um, and then our 
Um, this data needs to, we want it to say zero here. So go to vertical axis and we want the minimum to show zero and the maximum is fine where it's at. Okay, so now go down to uh, trend line and then now this time we're gonna click linear for this graph. And as you can see, it intersects at, uh, around 190 or so. It's actually negative. Um, it's about negative 185 or so. Um, so that's, that's about right for our graph here. Um, so I'm going to click insert, and then I'm going to give this one some titles. So edit the axis, the horizontal axis. So the horizontal axis were the temperatures. And this was in our vertical was in uh, volume, and this was measured in milliliters. I didn't finish this one. This is temperature, and this was measured in degrees Celsius. Okay, or there we go. So there's our graphs, and then you could uh, you could go ahead and um, copy these onto a Word document or whatever, and then print these, or just print them from your screen here. And that's the end. That's the end of our tutorial.